Well, Russian investigators have detained a woman in relation to the killing of pro-war blogger Vladlin Tatarsky, who was assassinated in a blast at a cafe in St. Petersburg. It's an extraordinary story. It's like a real-life Netflix drama. Let's speak to the Defence and Foreign Affairs editor of The Telegraph, Con Coughlin. Good morning to you, Con. So can you please just give us an outline of the individuals involved to, to, to paint a picture for the viewers about how this happened and why? Well, good morning to you. Well, Tatosti was, was a very prominent blogger in Russia, um, and the bloggers have played a fairly central role in the Russian campaign since they invaded Ukraine last year. They're, they're sort of pretty central to trying to sort of boost morale amongst the Russian people. Remember, a lot of the media in Russia is state-controlled, so the ordinary Russian people don't get a, a, a pretty accurate description of what's going on in Ukraine. But these, these, these bloggers who are very loyal to Putin um, and the war effort and the Wagner group and all these, all these um, people that are involved in Ukraine, they're, they're central to sort of almost sustaining morale um, and whipping up support for the, for, for, the, for the cause. And in fact, some of them are so extreme that, you know, the, the, the Kremlin itself is, often tries to get them to calm down um, because, you know, they, 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 some of them call for, you know, pretty extreme measures to be used in Ukraine, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons. So they're pretty hardcore people. And the fact that one of them has been killed, murdered, blown up in St. Petersburg, which is the, you know, the traditional seat of Putin's power, that's where he, he learned his political trade, um, is pretty remarkable. And, and now, as you say, there's been an arrest. And it's a Russian woman. The, the, the Russians initially said it was Ukraine that did this. But this seems to be the enemy within, that the Russian people are finally starting to turn on those responsible for this dreadful war. Yeah, but Daria Trepova has been arrested for the murder. She's an art graduate, anti-war. Her husband claims it's all a set-up. It could be. I mean, they're, they're looking for a scapegoat. Um, I mean, I don't know a great deal about this woman, but, but it's said that she's got links to, to the the anti-Putin movement headed by Alexei Navalny, who, of course, is languishing in prison for, for daring to stand up to Putin. This is what happens to anyone in Russia that stands up to Putin. And, of course, you've had these groups like Pussy Riot back in the, um, a few years ago that were jailed for, for taking on Putin. To escape, a scapegoat very, very quickly. And whether or not this girl is responsible, we'll have to see. But um, it just shows that, you know, not all is well in the state of Russia and that, you know, the, the suggestions that, that have been made recently that Putin's in a lot of trouble, that the economy is collapsing, the war is unpopular, that the casualties are unsustainable. You know, some of these issues are now coming home to roost. Um, Con, um, can I also ask you about NATO expansionism? Of course, at the start of this conflict, that was cited as an issue. We now have Finland joining NATO. How is that likely to land with Putin and the Kremlin? Well, they won't be happy. Um, but first of all, for NATO, this is, this is a great moment. I mean, th this helps to secure our, our northern flank um, against Russia. Of, of course, you know, the Finns have bitter experience of, 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 of fighting with the Russians over the years. Um, and uh, you know, part, part of their deal with Russia was to, to remain neutral, as did Sweden. Um, and the fact that they've, they've given up their neutrality uh, and, and come into the NATO fold, first of all, shows the, you know, the, 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 the Russian threat to Europe is very serious and is not confined to Ukraine. Um, and having Finland in NATO will be will be a great resource. It, it, as I said, it really helps us to defend our northern borders. And, and if we can get Sweden in as well, that would be an even greater boost. OK, Con Cochlin, thank you for your expert analysis this morning. You are the Defence and Foreign Affairs okay. Editor at The Daily Telegraph. Thank you very much for your time.